In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a coloring book using Canva, just like this one. And the best part is with just a few clicks. So don't miss the chance of using the simplicity of Canva to create a nice coloring books that you can sell on Etsy or Amazon or for your personal use. Stay until the end because I'm going to guide you through step by step on how to do it. So let's get started. To begin with the creation of our coloring book, first we have to go to the home page of Canva. On here, we're just going to go and we're going to click on create a design. In this searching part, we're just going to type on coloring book. Coloring book. And as you can see here, it's already giving us the format for our coloring book. But in case that you want to make a customized one, we're just going to click on customize size. And on here, you can add the sizes for your coloring book but I'm going to be using the one that Canva already gave for us. I'm just going to click on here. First of all, what we have to do is we have to go and add the borders. And to do this is very easy. We're just going to go to shapes and I'm just going to click this one. On here, we're just going to put our square all the way to make our border. So once that we have it like this, we're just going to click in this um, border style and we're just going to click in the first one on here you can choose how thick you want your uh, border so i'm just going to keep it in two so it's nothing very uh, crazy and once that you're already clicking your border we're just going to go in color and we're going to click in the option of no color and there we go we already have our border today i'm going to show you three ways of creating your coloring book so let's start with the first one Option number one, using Canva elements. For this option, we go to the Canva elements section on here. And we search for the specific element that we want to add for our coloring book. It can be animals. So I'm just going to search for bunny. And there we go. We're going to go to the part of graphics on here. And on here, you just start to look for something that you would like to add. So as you can see here, it's already giving us some options to add for our coloring book. So I'm going to be adding this one. And on here, you can start to play with the sizing of your elements. So I just want to add it something like this. And as you see here, Canva is giving us also some recommendations. So we can click and see all. And on here, it's going to give you much more options. So if you want to be more detailed, like something like with something like this, also looks very cute. So we can start to play with the sizing of it. And what I also want to add is some text. So I'm just going to go to the part of text and then I'm here. I'm just going to click in title. And I'm just going to make all of them in big letters. So I'm just going to change also the font of the letters. And to do this, we're just going to click over the letters and we're going to go to this square on here. On here, you can see we have much more uh, options. So I'm going to be using the more sugar. So there we go. I really like this letter, but I wanted to make that the kids can color on here. And to do this, we're just going to go and we're going to make sure that we click in the text and we're going to go and click in effects on here. On here, you can see we have a lot of uh, styles. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to click on this one and on here you can choose the thickness for the letters. And this is the first way of making our coloring book. But if you want to create your own images, you can use the next option. Option number two, using Canva AI. To work with this option, we have to go to the section of apps on here. In the searching bar, we're just going to write magic media. This one on here. And we're going to click in the magic media option. So on here, you can start to play with prompts that work well for you. But I'm just going to be using this one. Create a bunny in black and white format for coloring book for kids. So on here, we can change the style so you can make it watercolor, dreamy, anime, filmic. And on here, it's also very important that we change it to portrait. So it fits the format for our coloring book and I'm going to click in generate image and then you click on it and then we have to wait a few seconds till Canva start to generate our images 
and on here you can see Canva already generates some of them so I can choose from here or if I like some aspects from this one but I want to see more options you can click in the three dots on here and you can see that it gives you the option to generate more pictures like this so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna click in this one so I can get more options like that one because I do like it but maybe I can get something better so as you can see here it changed a bit the image but I have the same format so I'm just gonna be using this one you just click on it and then Canva is gonna send it to this part and I'm just gonna position it in my border and I'm gonna pull it all the way till it fits my border and there we go we already generate a completely new image for our coloring book with the Canva AI and you can start to create all the images with this AI but in case that none of these options work for you we have a third option option number three using creative fabrica for this option we gotta go to google and on here we have to search for creative fabrica free graphics and then we're gonna click on it on here we're just gonna click in the first option once that we are in this page what we have to do is we have to go and click in browse assets and we're gonna click on it you can start by uh, typing by free and then you can search for it and then it's going to give you some options that are for free so you can start to see on here what you can use to use this page you have to make your account and you are able to download all the elements that are on here for free so maybe i'm just going to be using this one and then you can download it and you can see here it's also for free so we download it then you click on here and made you later and now it's already downloaded this one once we already download our elements we have to go to the upload section and on here we're just going to click in upload files so is this one for me and then you're going to select the one that you want to add so on here we have all the uh, all the elements that we download from creative fabrica so i'm just going to uh, select this one and i'm just going to click in open to add it, we can click on it or you can just pull it from here. What we can do, because as you can see here, we have a lot of space in the size, we can crop the image. So to do this, we're just going to make double click and we're going to crop it so we don't lose any space. And there we go. We, we click in done and I'm just going to make it bigger so I can use most of the space. So I'm just going to keep following my borders and there we go we already have our element it was completely for free and we can also use it to create our coloring book and the only thing that is remaining is for you to download it and to download it we're just going to go to the square here in the corner it says share we're going to click on it and we're going to click in the download on here you can keep it as any of these um formats but the best one are between these two i will keep it in these two and then you're gonna go and we click in download and that's it if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching and see you in another video